It's a blustery, rainy day here, and I think it's a perfect day to get out my toaster oven cookbook, pop it in the toaster oven. And I looked at my recipes, and I decided I was going to show you how to do a tuna casserole today. The recipe, like many recipes in my toaster oven cookbook, is all done in the toaster oven. What's the advantage? Well, uh, you can mix up the macaroni in water and bake it and go do something else. You don't have to watch anything. It's done in the toaster oven, then the mixture is put in and everything is put back in the toaster oven and you can go do something else. So even though the cooking time is longer than say if you microwaved something, you have a beautiful casserole and you have spent really literally very little time. Now what I have here is a Pyrex baking dish. You can use any kind of baking dish at all. This is uh, eight eight inches in diameter. You can use an eight by eight by four baking dish. This is a round one. And what I'm going to do is fill it with three cups of water, which I've done. Then I'm going to put in a cup of the elbow macaroni. Now I'm going to add a pinch of salt, maybe two pinches, and stir it around with baking dishes Many times the top that comes with the baking dish makes this whole thing too high with the lid on it. So what I'm going to do is just cover it with aluminum foil. The toaster oven is up to temperature. So I'm going to put this Pyrex bowl with the water and the macaroni in here. And that's going to be in there for 35 minutes or until the macaroni is tender. Now I have assembled the rest of the ingredients so this is what you'll need. You'll need a cup of half and half, that's a fat free half and half is what I'm using or you can use 2% milk or skim milk if you want. Here is two cans of tuna drained and crumbled and here is one, one cup of frozen peas, one five ounce can of mushrooms, canned mushrooms. This is two tablespoons of margarine, a teaspoon of powdered garlic, and here is four tablespoons of unbleached flour. And then I have over here a cup of whole wheat breadcrumbs. To make homemade breadcrumbs, just take, I took three slices of whole wheat toast, toasted them very well, that was two settings of toasting, then broke them up into pieces and put them in my blender and instantly you have these wonderful, really tasty breadcrumbs. And then I have over here a small bowl and a whip. Now you will see that they don't have to be fully cooked because they're going to go back in again with the, the tuna casserole mixture. So 35 minutes in the toaster oven and drained, they should look like that. It goes back into the baking dish, having been drained. And then I'm adding the tuna. and the peas, and the mushrooms, and I'm going to add a little salt and pepper to taste. Now in a small bowl, I'm going to add the milk or half and half, and the flour, and the garlic powder. Whisk that together until it is smooth. Now I'm adding the milk mixture and stirring it. Now I've covered the baking dish and I'm putting the casserole back in. And now it's going to bake at 400 for 25 minutes. Move the casserole from the oven and I'm just going to sprinkle the top with the breadcrumbs now. 
Okay, then I'm dotting the top with the margarine. And then I'm going to put it back in the toaster oven for 10 more minutes to brown, and I'm not going to put the cover on it this time. There is the beautiful casserole, all nicely browned and ready to serve. Um, this is my take. Um, I think I'm just going to sprinkle the top with a bit of parsley and maybe just a little paprika. A tuna casserole done completely in the toaster oven.